In the state of Alabama, engineers are licensed at the state level by the Alabama Board for Engineers and Land Surveyors. Being a professional engineer means taking another level of responsibility for public safety and health. When you are licensed, you can own an engineering company, sign and seal engineering plans and drawings, work as an expert and consultant in engineering. You can practice engineering in Alabama without being licensed and becoming a professional engineer. At the same time, this will put some restrictions on your practice. You will not be able to own or establish an engineering firm. You can't seal or sign engineering drawings or plans in the state. You can't act as an expert and call yourself a consultant. Here we describe in detail what you will need to do to get licensed as an engineer in Alabama. Get engineering degree from an ABET accredited university. Gain experience for four years. Sit for exams. The first exam is the fundamentals of engineering. The other is the principles and practice of engineering. Apply for a license. Another procedure can be completed to get a license. Get bachelor's degree in engineering. Gain experience practicing engineering for six years. Apply to take two exams. The fundamentals of engineering and the principles. Practice of engineering. Apply for licensure to the Board for Engineers in Alabama. The third way you can go to become a P is described below. Degree in or related science, math or physics. Master's degree from an ABET accredited university or college. Six year experience in engineering. Take the fundamentals of engineering, FE, and the principles and practice of engineering, P, exams. Apply for a license to the Alabama Board for Engineers. If you have studied hack engineering technology for four years and hold an ABET accredited master's degree in engineering, follow these steps. Gain experience in engineering for six years. Pass the PNFA exams and add a passing score. Apply for licensure to the Board for Engineers in Alabama.